In this Monday makeup lesson, I'm going to be teaching you how to recreate this makeup look. If you're new to the Makeup Chair channel, then click subscribe below. It's totally free. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Hope you enjoy this look and let's get started. So I've already done my skincare moisturizer SPF. That's all part of my skincare routine. And for my makeup routine, the first step is my primer. Now you don't necessarily need a primer, but it will help your makeup last a little bit longer because it gives your makeup something to hold on to. So I'm going to apply this all over my skin. And if it doesn't make you feel amazing, then don't use a primer. It should make your skin feel so good and you feel so good. If it's not doing that, then don't use it. Once I apply it all over my skin and then like to press it in, I just find that this helps to make sure it's evenly applied everywhere. And now it's time for foundation. So I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty foundation. I have dry skin, so I like to use a hydrating foundation. And to apply it, I like to use a makeup sponge. And the makeup sponge I'm using is by Blank Canvas Cosmetics. I love this. It's one of the best sponges I have ever used. Now when it comes to foundation, I don't apply it underneath my eyes. I start on the apples of my cheeks and I blend up a little bit and then I blend down across my jawline and across the rest of my face, leaving a small gap underneath the eyes. I really want the majority of the coverage to be on the apples of the cheeks and that's why I start there and then blend it outward so it fades into nothing as it reaches my jawline and hairline. And I'm using a pressing motion, working the foundation in with that sponge. This is going to give you a beautiful flawless finish. What I love about this sponge in particular is it has a flat side, so I can use this to get right around my brows without getting like anything into my brows. Seriously, you need this sponge. I then take whatever's left over in the sponge and work on my eyelids and a little bit underneath the eyes, but this is just with the excess that's on the sponge because that is where I'm going to apply concealer. So I'm going to take a little bit of my concealer, I mix up a few different ones and even add a little bit of my foundation in and then I start to apply this underneath the eyes and I'm using the pointer side of the sponge to do this. So I like to look upwards when I'm applying underneath my eyes just to make sure you get a nice flat surface to work on and you can get right underneath the lashes as well. And as you can see from one side to the other, I don't like to be very heavily covered, but I like a decent amount of coverage. And the combination of the foundation all over and then just the concealer on main areas really creates that flawless finish. Now to set everything in place, I'm going to be using some powder. I'm using a slightly tinted powder to create a more even base, but you can use a translucent one if you want to. But before I apply any makeup, I like to go back over my smile lines and my lids and underneath my eyes just to make sure there's no creasing there. Now to apply my powder, I'm going to be using this brush, which honestly makes me feel like the most amazing makeup artist in the world. These handles are just so glamorous and lovely. So I'm going to be using this brush because it's a really nice wide, big brush. And that's what I want for powder. I also like the kind of edging that it has because it's going to grab hold of the powder, but also disperse it really well for us. So taking a little bit of my powder, I'm then going to press this into the skin and it's all about the pressing motion. Don't start swirling or anything like that. Use a pressing motion to start with. Once you create then a very even veil of powder, you can then go in and start swirling and adding more if you want to. But always start off with a pressing motion. I don't like to apply too much powder because I find that it does go a little cakey because my skin is quite dry. So a nice even layer is all I do. And then all I have to do is add in my contour, my blush, my bronzer, my highlight, all those little extra things. Also, if you'd like to see an eye look, you can check out the description box. It's also linked to the top here. But that is a finished look. That is my little foundation routine using a sponge. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you'd like to continue learning, you can check out some of the other videos on the screen. Send me any questions or recreations to my Instagram, which is at SineadyKatie, and I look forward to welcoming you guys back soon. Stay safe, be kind to yourself and others. Ow, don't say.
sit on your legs for two hours. It hurts. That's not a good idea. These are my boyfriend's jammies. I stole them. <laughs>